Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and we are live and it's Thursday. It's subscriber stream, so usually there aren't a whole lot of people when I first start. So if you're in the chat watching, just give me a little heads up so that I know you're here. But I know I'm not like just talking to myself and I know when to start painting. So I'm going to start painting soon anyway, but I just wanted to see who is all on. Let me get this straightened. There we go. How's everybody doing? It's Thursday. We're almost to the end of the week means tomorrow is whip friday so don't forget to bring any of your pictures and you know works in progress so that you can show them off at whip friday i love doing that hi spear hello how are you doing yay i love it when people say something in chat <laughs> so to i thought i was going to be painting some of my han solo and that turns out not to be the case because i actually think I think I'm pretty much done with them. There's not enough to do to really have a whole stream. 
So my husband and I have started getting into Talisman, the magical quest game, Fantasy Flight um, Edition. And actually, I think the second edition box that I have is from Games Workshop. It's like that old. So, you know, the license has changed hands a few times. I can't, I can't remember who owns the license currently or if it reverted back to, I might have reverted back to uh, Games Workshop. I'm not sure. Either way, I have had these miniatures for a long time, since before I started painting minis professionally. And when we got the box out last night, I was like, oh my goodness. It's like opening a time capsule with my painting. And you'll get to see, like, I, it's funny because I already repainted the ones that were sort of painted. There's one mini in here that's painted pretty decently, and I remember being really proud of it but I think it was actually, well, let me just show you what I'm talking about, because this is really funny. So this is an example, oh my God, of an early paint job of mine. Look, it's not even finished. There's gray still on him. It's just um, literally wash and base coat at this point. I don't even know if there's any highlighting. Then there's this one, I mean, guys know like it's like someone else painted these um so I, i'm going to show you some of the ones these two these three are probably the closest to finished and they're still kind of eh. this one and this one actually i worked on this one a little bit i kind of gave the little crystals some edge highlighting we just worked on crystals yesterday and yeah He's not, he's not terrible. I could, I could have him on the, on the game board. No problem. That is, what is he? He's like a wizard or something. There's so many classes. This is the one I'm the most proud of for that time period. This was really a really good mini at that time. And it looks a lot like the art card that it comes with. So, and then these are repaints that I did last night. So you can see like, obviously, this is my tabletop version. This is the troll. And this is the, the dwarf. Dwarf is pretty cool. He needs his eyes painted in. He doesn't have his eyes. I worked on that. These aren't really too bad. The assassin is very boring. But he was entirely black, but he was the same kind of shiny black like this. And it didn't look good because it looked like he's, like, wearing some kind of gimp suit or something, I don't know. So I did that over again with some, just some gray dry brushing and I'm really happy with how the assassin looks now. And then this is the thief. So yeah, um, these are really small. So we're gonna do our best to show these off, but look at, I have a whole bunch here of unpainted ones. Hi, Nixon Minis. I have a whole bunch of unpainted ones we're gonna work on. And I have the cards from the game. As I'll show you. Hold on a second. There's the game. Talisman. No, Talisman. <laughs> so this game is so much fun. If you ever get a chance to play it, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, it does have Games Workshop on here still. That's interesting. So I don't know if they still own the license or what, but they definitely originally had it. So I'm just going to pull out all of the character cards real quick. Uh-oh, there's a mess. And the toads, got to get the toads out. They are looking a hot mess as well. There's a character card. See, each one of these has a little, like a character sheet. Ah, oh, that's right. They're all in a little pile right here. Hold on. I should have got these out beforehand. There's a bunch. And I'll get out one toad card because that's all you need. Oh, there's some more toads. If you get turned into a toad in this game, it's really funny. How are you, Nixon Minis? What are you been up to? Have you or Spear, either one of you guys, ever played Talisman? And if so, did you did you like it? All right. This is one of my favorite board games. And I have to say I'm pretty good at it. There's a toad. This is old school. This is the old school paint job. This is not the new. 
We're gonna work on some of the toes aren't really too bad, actually. I don't hate them. They look a lot like they look they look a lot like the art cards, some of them. But we'll work on those. We can I just thought we'd be you never played it. Oh my gosh, you have to try. It's so much fun. So I thought we would just go through and just paint these and I could chit chat with you guys. Um, it would be a little fun, a little more relaxed, because that's the thing, is I want these subscriber streams to be more like one-on-one -on -one time with me and you, so you get to really talk to me more, and it's a little bit less, I mean, you'll still learn stuff, it's still educational, but I thought we would, we would kibitz, we would schmooze, right? That's what we are, the kibitzers, right? Got my water... The object of the game, it's kind of like a dungeon crawl game. You're good, lots of painting time. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, the object of the game is to get, basically be the last player standing. So you can actually have um, PvP, player versus player combat in this game, and it's, it's pretty cool. And you rack up all these followers that help you and get items and gold and all that. All right, so let's see, let's see. I'm gonna let you guys pick which one you'd like me to, to paint first. I'm just gonna pick a few. So the assassin is pretty much, but I do need to work on him a little bit more. So the assassin, here's the assassin. This is the one where I just did grays. Looks like I could even go a little bit more gray with him. So maybe we'll work on that first. Let's let's just do it in order. We'll just I'll just shuffle these and we'll just pick right out of there. Be easy. Got lots of painting time. That's yeah, that's for sure. This is the time period if you're gonna to paint, because you're gonna have the time. Alright. Oh, do we have do we have music on? Yes, we do. Good. Can you hear it okay? It, let me know if I need to turn the desktop audio up a little bit. Here, I'm going to turn it up a tiny bit. There we go. If that's too loud. Let me know. All right. So the assassin, you may assassinate. May is always important. You may assassinate when you attack a character or creature. You cannot assassinate when you attack by another character. When you assassinate, battle takes place as normal, except that your victim may not roll a die to add to his strength. You win. You must force the other player to lose a life. You cannot take an object or gold instead. And you may not assassinate while you ha while at the Crown of Command. The Crown of Command is like the end game kind of fight where you get this crown and you can basically point at everybody in the realm and be like, die, die. You can just, it's really a head trip. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put some white on the palette. And do, 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 do. black horse, black, full black. Hello from Colorado. Hello, Tom the Gatherian. Is that right? Oh, wait, Tom Gatherian 77. Hello, where do you mind if I ask about where in Colorado you are? Because I was actually born in Greeley. And all my, hey, the game father, Fo, hello, how are you? Um, I was born in Colorado. So I'm a fourth generation Colorado native, but I'm living in Illinois. And so I'm living in the flatlands. <laughs> By the way, if you're not currently subscribed and you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free with your Amazon Prime membership. And so that's always an option. I'm gonna use a little bit more black on this. So the assassin has some gray, gray pants. And this is totally tabletop level, guys. You're gonna get to see how I can really make something tabletop look good. And it's all about contrast and kind of it's I'm utilizing all my speed painting abilities. There we go. See, that already is looking cooler than it did a minute ago. All I'm doing is hitting the highlights of his pants with, with gray at this point, and then a little shirt 
area here. All right. Good enough. That is crazy how that helps so much. Now again with this gray. <laughs> how are you guys doing? I'm just gonna get the top of his boots because I'm just highlighting the boot. I'm not trying to get too much. There we go. Boom. Nice, okay, and then the last but not least, I'm gonna take a little bit more white and there's a little line here on little panel on his coat. That, with that, there we go. Assassin, pretty much done. I need to, I'll do a little bit of a white edge highlight on his boot. There. You admire my skill. Thank you. Aurora, we met before. You're playing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're from Aurora. Awesome. Very pretty area. My uncle is from Aurora. In fact, I was just, were we there? We didn't go to Aurora. We went to Englewood, which is where my other uncle lives. But yeah, that's right. I remember meeting you now. You we were at that um, crisis protocol. And I'm actually painting a board game right now, which we still need to paint our Crisis Protocol. Thanks, Tome the Gathering, or Tome Gathering. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, so we're done with Assassin, so we can set him aside. And now we have the Elf, and he's all greens and frou-frou-y. Says you do not need to roll a die in the forest unless you wish to. If you roll, choose to roll, you must accept the result. You may evade creatures and, and characters in the woods. If you are on the woods, instead of rolling a die for your move, you may move to any other woods in the same region. That's kind of about the only cool power on this card because it means that he can kind of like quickly move around the board and get to places very fast. That is really cool, so instead of rolling. But other than that, the elf is, is really boring. Two, oh, two to Mega Therion. Ah, I got gotcha. it. It's confusing. <laughs> Thank you for the the um, clarification. There we go. All right, where is the elf? Do I have him? I thought I had. Here he is. No, that's not the elf. I here. There he is. He looks really terrible. So for those of you who just joined us, these minis were painted by me like ages ago before I was a professional painter and they look like, like crap. Just, let's just be honest, look at that. And so I'm repainting. I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them already repainted. So see, this one has been repainted and it's already a thousand times better. So I'm gonna show you all the tricks to doing a cool tabletop style mini. And the first thing is get all the lint off of your mini because holy cow, this has been sitting in a box for a while. It's cruddy. There's cat hair galore all over it. Come on. Sometimes primer will stick to... Oh, what the heck? Is that like a popcorn kernel? Nasty. Ugh. I'm disgusted. All right, so if the, if I were actually, there's another one, damn it. Don't ask me. I guess I had been eating popcorn at one point and playing this game. <laughs> all right, let's get all of the crap off of this mini, the literal crap here, here we go. All right, so now this, this mini is mostly greens. He's got some bra uh, br beiges on him. I'm gonna start with the darkest color and kind of work out. So the innermost part of the mini is gonna be in here in this in this cloak. And I've got my little reference here that I can use. So I'm gonna put some greens on my palette. I'm gonna put this dark camo green. Feel free to chat at me guys, cause I, I am in a chatty mood and I'm able to do this 
I'm able to be a lot more chatty today because it's a subscriber stream. There's not as much going on to have to teach and stuff. We can we can chat and uh, you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention because there's only 10 people in the chat right now. Are you gonna come over here and troll me? Or might... No. Invitation to troll. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my husband, guys. That's Proto Maker. He he comes and he he was the 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 channel mascot, but he doesn't really come on stream that much anymore. So now he just gets beat by me at Talisman. Ooh. All right. Um. I'm just gonna start with this dark green. This is the dark camel green, and I'm gonna go in here on most of this. It's not as bright. I'm going to add a little bit of this Kelly green to it. So it's a little bit brighter. Better. And I paint from the inside out, and that is because it's going to be so much easier to, um, to cover mistakes and to, to kind of layer. See, I've already got paint right on his boot, but if I'm painting that boot after the fact, it's, it's going to be completely fine. I don't even get in there. Another little dark shadow. And I'm painting over everything, even like little swords and stuff, because like I said, you paint the furthest thing first, and then you layer from there. That is how I start a tabletop. Um, tabletop paint job. I see another piece of dipped paint on there. So, has anybody got any plans for the weekend? Anybody gonna clean out their garage or do anything that they've been meaning to get to? Or you can just completely relax on the weekend since maybe you've been working or you know, stressing about things. This is the this is the place here to come to to chill. We can put some EDM in and listen to some music later if you want. I'm painting the whole cloak at this point. Dark green and I'll do all the little Special highlights and trim after the fact. I want to get this put in there first. All right, just that little bit right there has already helped this figure immensely. How funny is that? Okay, let's look at this. All right, all right. Okay, so now he's got these pretty much bright green. I'm going to go ahead and layer up this dark green into his pants because we're going to highlight later with some light green. I might as well just go over everything. Layer it later. Just painting clean and crisp is going to make a tabletop uh, ready mini really, really easily paint in the lines. Speaking of the lines, I have some black on my palette, but I'm also going to put some dark, where to it go, this stuff. So I'm going to use this as a liner. This is black indigo from Reaper Minis. And, ah, uh, did we have, we, you want to get out of Gecko? Okay, we're going to get out of Gecko for you. You're going to try to stream tomorrow, or you can impersonate the character you're painting. Oh, funny. Um, you're hoping to have your Slaves the Darkness army done by Saturday? Maybe play some Kill Team and Tabletop Simulator? I just found out that T Talisman is on, um 
on Steam. And so I got myself a copy. And so I'm looking for people to play Talisman. If you are interested, let me know because I'm looking for people. I don't really know that many people who play it, but it is on Steam. All right, Liz, shall I get out of Gecko? All right, let me get one. Oh, hold on. So we have these channel points, and if you spend 500 channel points, I'll get out of Gecko once per stream. And Critical Dome, Critical Dome, is that how I say it? You just, just uh, um, unlock that. So I'll do that right now. One of two African fat tail geckos. There she is. She's a cutie. She's nice and brown. Yeah. Hey, Penny Cricks, how are you doing? Critical Dom, see? Let me put an overhead camera on her. Now, I don't know if it's as interesting when she's above. What are you doing with your toes over here? I think she's a little freaked out. A little bit. Just a little bit freaked out. Good so far? Good. Good. Yeah, we have no idea what's going to be. There we go. She's so cute. Look at this tail. Squish, 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 squish. Greek Nacos, it's been a while since I've seen you. Thank you for the subscription. I'm going to watch her. She's turning around again. Oof. You're always going to fall off my hand. How are you, Greek Nacos? Thank you for the subscription. I'm going to put her back because I feel like she's freaked out. There we go. She's not so graceful, right? Well, she, I don't know why, but she always backs up when she, when I'm holding her. She'll like back up. I'm going to write down Freak Nacos. Thank you so much. Also, we missed Hudfu followed and Bethany. That was earlier today. Hi, Robosh. How are you doing? Subscribers. There we go. Boom. And Greek Nacos. Oh, it's hard to see, but that's your name right there. <laughs> we're painting, um, we're in the process of painting this elf from Talisman. This is what we're doing. Here he is. Oh, Critical Dom, thank you for the subscription. Now you can watch ad free. Thank you so much. There we go. Tier one, thank you so much. This is awesome. Love having new people. I have only been doing the subscriber subscriber streams since the since the lockdown, essentially. Um, so I just noticed that this green is not nearly as pretty and green adult. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out some transparent green in here. This is the transparent green by Pro Procryl, and these transparents are fantastic. I'm just going to put a little drop of color on there. They're basically pure pigment, and they dry matte. So they act like, but they act like an ink or a wash, but they're really, you watch what happens when I put those down in there. Oh, yeah, that's the color I was looking to get. Already a million times better. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Out of his leg. Here. And flip it and 
might as well just do a layer. Ooh, that is that is a little bright. See how much blue that is in there? Just spread that around. Remember, this is a transparent paint, so look at see how I can make it thick on one side and then have that light color on the other side. It can really enhance whatever you're painting. Hmm. I like it a lot. Okay. And I think I'm going to mix um, a little bit. I just noticed he's got a little vest on. I'm going to mix a little bit of this green with my darker green. And he's got a little vest. Add that. Oh, come on. It's repelling water a little bit. Over here, though, that's good. Okay, I'm just going to check back and forth to see if anybody's saying anything. Like I said, don't be afraid to chit-chat with me. If you want to lurk, it's fine, though, too. And but Now, when I'm painting a tabletop level figure, especially a small one like this, I'm going to show you some... some um, Notice everything is still kind of blah, right? Because we need to get in there and dark line. And well, I need to finish the base coats first. So we'll base coat and then we'll dark line. And you'll see a crazy different. New mod view is crazy. Tell me. I heard about it. Is it is it nice? That's so cool. So the moderators have a new kind of like dashboard so they can kind of control things so much more easily now and you can easily ban someone more than you could before all right i need sort of a taupey color like this ivory is perfect and that on my palette for elfie also had this light umber color which is on his boots this is the light umber you banned a bot yesterday. That's awesome. Did I? I must have missed that. Wait, maybe no. I kind of remember. Fairly nice makes it easier to see everyone in chat all at once. Awesome. Yeah, I I personally can't see everyone in chat, so that's handy for you then. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this boots with this. Um, this is the brown and I'm just going to paint the whole boot brown to start always highlight it later when I when I first started painting these my brush control was not so great and now like I can really paint so much faster and so much so much more control I, I I always thought like it's going to take me forever to get through these minis and now I'm like, oh, I could finish this in one day because I've basically trained myself to be fast. Hi, Pun Expected. How are you doing? I got, are you guys all coming to the uh, Whip Friday tomorrow? Tomorrow is Whip Friday, so work in progress. You can post, you can start posting your stuff. Well, probably wait till tomorrow, otherwise I'll miss it. But Start getting your pictures ready to post for tomorrow. That way I will be able to see them right away. But whatever paint, I think I used P3 paint, which is a satin paint um, on the original minis. And so it's a being a little bit water repellent, water hydrophobic. And then the sides of his arms, these bracers are also kind of a taupe color. We're getting there though. Does anybody um, have any ideas for 
for boredom, you know? Like, I think that it's been a challenge. Well, you know what? Not for me so much because I always have minis to paint and I have work to do. But I'm, I think my husband might be getting a little bored sometimes. But what are you guys doing to combat boredom? Lemonis, hello. Have you, do you like the new mod dashboard, Lemonis? We were just talking about that. I am painting this elf's hair at this moment. And it needs to be a more of an ochre color, not this brown, but I'm going to shift it over to ochre in a minute. Got one little braid over here. It's weird. <laughs> Why is it weird? What's what's funny? Is it just a lot? Is it too much information? By the way, make sure you tell all my mods can can watch all of my subscriber streams for free. Um, you don't have to be subscribed, although a lot of you already are, which, you know, I love you for that. And all my VIPs also can watch my streams, my subscriber only streams as well. All right. You don't like change. Critical Dom says, I'm painting and catching up on reading and writing. I'm trying to come up with some way to support my, my fligs, my friendly local game store when it, while it's closed. That's a good idea. Yeah. Gift certificates are always good. Maybe you could arrange some kind of pickup. No, another thing. If you're cleaning the bathroom and made some hot cross buns, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. My, my friendly local game store is offering curbside pickup. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I didn't even think about my, my FLGS. I to do something though yeah absolutely i know a lot of people are worried about that you know that a lot of these little mom and pop stores and stuff might not be around all right i'm mixing a little ivory with my flesh tone here like i said i'm just doing the base coats at this moment Ugh. I'm hoping that this Color will stick over his headband and everything now. Everything is tiny on these minis. Why contrast is gonna be so important. Contrast, contrast, contrast on it like this. Alright. I already feel happier about it than I did though. Now the ivory. I'm gonna start with this gray, maybe. Maybe I'll mix brown, brown and gray. There we go. I mixed a little brown and gray, and I'm gonna put that on the sleeves, and that's gonna be my shadow color. So with a with a tabletop mini like this, I'm gonna do a lot more layering because it's just easier than all of the other techniques that I use. And then he's got a couple little belts. So I'm going to have to go back over that. My brush is too big. Been working out and painting a lot besides telework. Miss playing weekly games. You know, I haven't worked out at all, but I've walked. What am I going to do before and after pics? I should, shouldn't I? You know what? Let me show you some before and after pics I took yesterday because I. It's funny. Hold on one second. Okay, so here's the before picture of the troll. Look at how nasty that paint job was. It's not even like this, his vest is not even finished. His wrist, his, the base, nothing is finished. And then, wait, dang it. <laughs> Instagram just opened. There we go. 
And then there is the after. And look at what a bigger, I mean, it's still not that great, but now it's like, it's easier to see. He looks, he looks pretty cool now. And I, I, I could actually see him on the tabletop much better. I did Diomedes way, 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 way before I was a professional miniature painter. So back in the old, let me show you. This is before I was a professional painter. I painted like everybody else. Hi, Genuine. Oh, did we just get a raid? Aw, uh, thank you so much for that raid, Genuine Vision. So this is a subscriber stream, and so all of my mods and all of my VIPs and any of my subscribers can watch the stream um, free of charge. If you have a Twitch Prime subscription, you can subscribe for free. So that is there. But thank you so much for that. That is awesome. We're no, it's totally fine. I don't mind. We were just talking about these talisman figures that I started painting years and years ago. Look at them. They're just so meh. And now I'm kind of trying to give them a little bit of an upgrade. Here is Here's the assassin. Upgraded him a little bit. I'm not trying to do these more than like tabletop. There is the magician. Yeah, these are these are in a board game, Pandateca. So I never got around to finishing them. And so we're finishing them today because Mike and I have started playing Talisman. And this is the merchant. This is probably the best one of that entire. Hey Ravage, how are you? I'm good. Hey Valandar the Red. Valandar the Red. <laughs> so, but a lot of these, a lot of these minis were half painted and half painted badly with this one. The ghoul. And yeah, he looks ghoulish, but he could be so much better. The toads at the time were probably some of my better pieces for this figure set. And I'm just, mm mm, mm mm. I think that is the princess I can't remember but each that's the enchantress and look look at this this is a Shonda this is a Shonda and I'm gonna teach you a Yiddish word right now the word is Shonda and it's a funny word you can't see it <laughs> I'll tell you what it means You've been watching those getting an upgrade? Yeah, I'm really, they're gonna get an upgrade to tabletop because right now they're below tabletop. So let me teach you what the word Shonda means. Give me a second. This is a Yiddish word and it means, <laughs> it says Shonda is most likely a combination of the terms Shana, which originates in the Hebrew language meaning uh, God is merciful and Rhonda, which originates from the Welsh language, meaning great lance or spirit. No, that is that is not a Yiddish. No, 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 no. Oh, here it is, Shonda. It's, we want the Yiddish, not not the name. Hold on, hold on. I have to look up Shonda Yiddish meaning. There we go. Found it. You don't have anything from your first attempts. I always say when you, the first time you paint a mini, keep it. Okay. It means, <laughs> oh, well, an urban dictionary says, a Shonda for the Goyim, which is not a, a kind word, means to do something shameful publicly witnessed by, by non-Jews thus bringing shame upon Jews in general because the theory goes we're all held accountable for the worst deeds. That's Urban Dictionary. But it does mean like a shameful thing. Here, I think I just found it. Yep, something scandalously shameful. It is a Shonda. Oh my gosh. Shonda is used as shame as used in English. So after a Shonda takes place, the protagonist of the event may feel that they're being put to Tsushand, to shame, Tsushand. That's funny. Okay, so let's look at these minis. Look at these Shonda of a mini. Thank you for oh, subscribing, Motor City. Thank you so much. 
Let's write down your name. Motor City Ray. Woot woot. Subscribe for three three months. Motor City Ray. Thank you so much. I wrote down your name. Shame or disgrace, exactly. Over 25 years ago, a lot of your original stuff got binned an eon ago. Oh no, Ravage. It's like it's like the mom that threw everything, all the comics away, right? That's a that's a Shonda. Yeah, hype for everybody. All right, so we've got some base coats on here, and I'm going to show you. Dark lining is so important when you're doing tabletop minis. And you can see this is a this guy is pretty well dark lined. I've got dark lines under things and behind things. So I'm going to take this color, which is my black indigo. I can also use dark nightshade purple. These are both very similar colors. But I really, I just happen to have my black indigo on the table. And I'm going to go through this whole mini and I'm going to dark line in all of the crevices and separate the materials. So like he has a sleeve and his arm. Those are two separate materials. So there's going to be a little, little dark line right here. Separating those two and then Definitely some kind of dark line in here, and it goes up into this vest. It's so outline. It's basically creating a coloring book. And if you prime in black, you can avoid a, a lot of this because it's already kind of dark lined itself a little bit. See, I'm going all the way around that whole arm, and don't forget he's got a little arm bracer on right here. Hey, look at that. That already looks better than it did, doesn't it? I'm going to be saying that a lot today. Better than it did. Have you seen Ray's stream? He's a great guy. I No, I have not. I don't, I don't get a chance to watch too much. It's like because Twitch has kind of become a job. It's hard to watch Twitch anymore. Aining Crick says some of my, you have some of your originals. They're quite sad. The only reason why I'm repainting these, if they were any other kinds of miniatures, I would not bother repainting them. But because these are board game minis, and I want to play the board game and enjoy the board game and not be distracted by my terrible, terrible painting. Um, I'm repainting. Painting them for my sanity. Right? All right, I'm feathering that line out because I got a little carried away. That, see? You've got a nice sharp brush for dark lining. That's what you need. Underline that belt. There's another belt situation in here. See? Already looking better. You have to feed the kittens. Kittens, good. That's cool, Diomedes. All right, now again, again, separating all of the There we go. Separating the, the different layers, separating each different thing. So like, for instance, this pants is separate from the boots. Now you put a little thin dark line in between those two. It also kind of covers up some of your, like when you go over the lines a little bit. All right, then behind here, got another part separating his cloak or his tunic, whatever this is, whatever he's wearing. See how we're creating all this depth? When and I'm using, I try not to use a black because this dark indigo is is a dark purple. It's not a black, and so it makes a difference. A 
There we go. And it has a sword back here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over that whole thing with the dark color because I can pick it out later with uh, with the silvers, and that will pop right back out. And then he has a little bit of a. This is hard to see, but he's got a little bowstring here and a braid. So even that needs a little drop shadow underneath it. We'll get both sides of that. How's Mike doing? He's doing good. I think he's a little stressed from work, but you know, who isn't, right? He's got um, his bike repaired, so hopefully he's gonna be able to start going out on his bike and getting some exercise. Um, gotta get you gotta get to work off those cortisol levels, you know, and cause uh, all kinds of issues. All right, in his, I'm gonna mix a little bit of this darker color with. Hmm. Let me try this again. I've got the dark indigo. I'm gonna go around his face. That's not terrible. Not terrible yet. Okay. So we've got some dark lining and it's starting to look good. Dr. Payne takes, how old is this game? So let me check. Cause the game actually dates back pretty far. Cause I have a second ed version of the game. This particular game is 2009 but I feel like it's old it's way older than that way older than that okay 1983 is the first copyright 83 85 94 2007 and then hold on I have to sneeze Achoo! ah bless me you have the second ed so do I painting cricks and the second ed did not come with minis. So I remember when this version came out, I had to have it because it had minis. And I'm, I'm embarrassed that I painted them so badly. <laughs> but I like this. What do you think? Have you, have you played the other version painting cricks? Kind of like the, um, the old ver or the new version or the old version because it's so broken it's so so bad it's good all right i'm finding more little spots to dark line around the boot it's a little tedious but it's gonna look good there's a cat here right before you all got here i picked off like all kinds of trash off this mini something I'm just going to go along this little tree stump around his boot, clean up the edges. Okay. Your daughter and your friends love it. You have, you only have the old version. Yeah, I just love the old version. I mean, they're all good, they're all about the same. The new version has these things called fate tokens. And so I think it's actually easier to play the new version because you can kind of mulligan your role if you get with the fate token you know what i'm saying all right under here under the hair everything gets a dark line a drop shadow this is little I'm gonna paint the, he's got a little quiver of arrows back here. I'm gonna paint those completely dark. And then we'll go over them in a minute with a lighter color, make those pop. Go around the edge of his hairline. Yeah, that's looking good, here we go.
I got everything dark lined. I might need to go back a little bit. And sometimes you need to make your dark lines thinner by going over it again with your base coat. Touch up. See how thick the dark lines are here? Go back in. So, same thing on his hair. I got it all over the place on his hair. Motor City says, oh, thank you. You paint with crayons compared to many streamers. GW came out with a small line of talisman models for the old game. That's right. They were metal models. I remember that. That was a long time ago. That was, I think that was in the 80s, wasn't it? Um, that was a way, a long time ago. All right. I'm just looking here. I need more dark around this face because I'm in with lighter colors and highlight. Make it look good again. But he's got a headband. So what I'm gonna do is go over that with the black. Oh. Mediocre. Mmm. <laughs> All right, now, now it's time for contrast. I'm gonna start with this, the, the sleeves because they are the most light. And I'm gonna just paint in here. See that? It does. Painting on top of the highlights, leaving a big contrast. And then he's got also, I can kind of dry brush a little bit on top of this. Yeah, that doesn't look too hot. That looks pretty good actually. Oh yeah, there we go. How's it going, Nicholas? How are you? I'm good. We're painting um, a figure from Talisman, the Magical Quest game. All right, now. I'm in here. There's a lot of little details on these boots. So I'm going to do a little bit of this, what do I call overbrushing, where you just kind of catch that detail. Like that. Almost like a dry brush, but not quite. It's already looking way better than it did. Now watch what happens when I take this bright green and start highlighting, because this is what the elf is looking like with this bright green. Mix a little bit of the darker green in here and then feather blend it. You can wet blend. See how that bright green against that dark, desaturated color? It really pops now, doesn't it? Look at what that did. Make sure I hold that close enough because these are so small. Yeah, Mikolas, I have some talisman figures from um, my talisman, the magical quest game. And I'm painting them. And they are cool. Except for the, the sculpts are tiny and kind of difficult to paint. But we're going to try to get as, as many of these done as I can. See?
This is where I'm just overbrushing it, right? Just a little overbrush. I'll let that dry and then we'll come back over it and kind of hit it with the darker green just to glaze it back a tiny bit. Actually, I might do that with the transparent green. What happens? But yeah, I don't hate that. Yes. Transparent green can go over it pretty nice. That's bright. How's he supposed to hide in the woods when his when his pants are that bright? You have some from Tainted Grail and Gloomhaven. Yeah, Gloom there, Gloomhaven are a little bigger than these, just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go in here with the ivory. I'm gonna paint his. Got a little braid here. I'm just gonna dot in here because really all of the definition of the actual mini is pretty much lost there really isn't any and i need some ochre because his hair is blonde here we go yellow ochre and yellow ochre is the color of the blondes here we go so highlighting all of his ooh i'm gonna mix that a little bit there we go. See how I just take the side of my brush and I just over that super quick. Like I said, it's not dry brushing. Get those highlights in there. Now he's looking proper elfy. I've got a little ochre and a little green on my palette. Go. And put up this screen again. All right, I think that is, I just have to do his face now. So I haven't played Tinted Grail. What is that game like? That sounds interesting. But when I'm painting these eyes, they are like, tiny specks and you there is no way you can get a ton of detail so just just make a little dot and a little line over the top and then try to get a little mouth and a little nose shadow if you can and then we can add some ivory and try to do some highlights here Ugh, no Oh, that's better. Uh, painting the faces of these characters is about impossible. We're just doing the best. All right, lastly, what color are his, his little quiver arrow things? It looks like they're white, so we're going to date this. There we go. And then we can take this white one more time and on his shirt, just hit it with some last little white highlights. And again, in a few places. That is pretty much as detailed as I'm gonna get with him. Except now, let's give him a little quiver and we'll paint. I need some brown brown. Brown brown is a word. <laughs> this is brown, uh, dark umber. I'm gonna use this on his bow. Even though his bow in the picture is silver. Uh, I don't think I want a silver bow for him. Eh, we could do the silver. Now, tell you what, I'll start with the brown and then we'll do silver over it and see what happens. I'm gonna make the string dark color. 
Ah, that works. I just wanted to get some of these done, you know? Miko says, story, rich, survival, and exploration game. Sounds like I would love it. Grim universe blended with Celtic mythology, Athorian legends, and unique vision of Awakened Realms artists and writers. Kind of gloom here with play style from what I've seen, um, read of the rules. That sounds amazing. I think I'd like that. I really want to play other board games, but since I have Kingdom Death, I'm scared to because I'm worried that I have spent so much money on Kingdom Death, people. You have no idea. You know when you, you buy the Lamborghini and then you don't buy another car because you have the Lamborghini? How I feel about Kingdom Death. It is my, like, um, heirloom game, right? That I've invested so much in. I'm so happy with how this elf is looking. Look at this. Let's paint this little tree stump. Happy little tree stump. Cute. And once we get the tree stump painted, we'll paint the base black and it'll be a huge jump. And how the model, once you get that base blackened out, it looks good. The miniatures that come with it are very well done too. And the monsters of Avalon are they called? I'll have to look this up. I, I'm, I'm dreading looking it up though, because I'm really afraid I'm going to get sucked into another game. But I'm going to have to paint miniatures for it. And I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm invested in Kingdom Death people. So invested. Let's do a little ochre up on that tree stump and a little of this beige. Perfect. And then I'm going to use black, actual black here. I'm going to put a little bit of this. This is flat black. I don't like to use flat back, flat black on bases. Somewhere I have some satin black. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to put some satin black on my palette for the base. Let's see. Let's see how this changes. I already think looking pretty decent. Do you guys think I should paint the, the bow silver? All right. Having a black base is like framing a photo after you've taken it. It just finishes it and it makes it look so much better when you paint the bases. it around look at that now we have a little game piece and he looks good I could actually see myself playing the little elf I think I see one more thing I want to do um on his chest he's got his little wrap paint that all black and then go over it with a little bit of the brown no, I'm gonna leave it. I think I'll leave it black. I think it looks better that way. Let's see what silver looks like. Try the silver. Let's use. I've got dark silver. This is always good for armor and for metal weapons to, as a base. And then you need to highlight with a regular silver. Always happens. Wow, we have 28 viewers. That's awesome. And I really have Jan to thank for that. Thank you so much for dropping Jan and dropping off people for us. All right, this, there we go. Oh, you know what? I kind of like the silver, actually. He looks like more posh now. And of course an elf would have a silver bow, right? Okay. I do like that. I'm going to... 
tried not to get, I got stuff all over my fingers. Hold on a second. Let's see, I have some airbrush clean I can fully wipe. Did we get a subscriber? Uh, Mikolas, thank you for the host. I really do appreciate that. We were talking yesterday about those hosts and they really do help. Even if you only have like, like it says here, you know, one, one person is hosting, but that is really does help. Dr. Panditech says so fast and such a nice improvement here that one can see all your experience. Ah, oh, thanks Panditeka. All right. Should be dry. But what the thing is, is that what I'm trying to show you is that these little things can make a tabletop mini really bounce, you know, like jump up. So like this one, we're going to show you how to improve this one next. I think I'll dig through the cards. Um, let's do one last thing. I want to take the actual silver silver and highlight this bow. Because right now it's only base coated. Put all my metals in the same side of the palette. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. We got, I have some paints I need to show you that we need to play around with. I got the new set from Pro Krill. They have a new paint set and I want to show it to you. Oh, look at that. Okay, happy with Elf now. I'm just going to paint his bottom of his base with this nice flat brush. Um, I'm going to use the satin. I'm going to set him aside to dry while I go get these new paints. You guys get to be the first on this channel to see them. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Also, today is today's not the good day to do the follower giveaway. We have a follower giveaway that we're going to do tomorrow. We have Whip Friday that we're going to do tomorrow. So come back tomorrow. We're going to do giveaway for followers. You don't have to be a subscriber. And we're going to have Work in Progress Friday, which means that any pictures that you want to show off, you can put those in the Discord, and then we can look at them on the stream. I'll be right back. I'm going to get those paints. So I'm going to show off all the giveaways that I've got that are upcoming. Be able to see whether you want to subscribe this month or not. Subscriber giveaway probably that of these. Uh, thank you for following for Jade Mundos. Mundos for Jade Mundos. Thank you. So thanks for subscribers. Maybe a model for for non-subscribers. What we've got here. Word of Malice. Uh, for Jade Mundos, thank you. Description. Hey. Can't hear me well. That's because I wasn't wearing my mic. Thank you, Panda Tech. I appreciate that. So let me re let me rewind and tell you what I was saying. I have a set of these new paints. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have a set of these new paints to give away for subscribers on the 16th. And I'm going to give away a model um, Friday, tomorrow. If you come back tomorrow, we've got Whip Friday. So you get to show off all the minis that you've been painting and working on. And you also get to show off, you know, your cat, your other projects, anything you've been doing to, you know, pass the time that you want to share. Let's, let's open up and do a box opening of these, these giveaway models. Cause I think you guys are going to dig this. All right. So here we got creature caster, Lord of Malice. I'm going to open this up here. I hope, that, and I want to thank, um, for Jade Mundos. Thank you for your subscription. I'm going to write your name down here. Jade Mundos. There you go. You can't see it real well, but your name is on the board. There we go. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this open without some scissors. Yeah, let's. Let me see. I'm going to be, let me go get some scissors. I'll be right back. No, wait, I have, I have an exacto blade I can use. Yes. This is 
better. Okay. All right, so this is the Lord of Malice. And he is, he's pretty cool. He's got a lot of little pieces. Let's see if we can show you. That's his base. And there's his body. Whoa. One of these we're going to paint, and two of them we're going to probably give away. So he's got some cool wings. You can see that? And I guess this goes into the base right there. See that? Let me adjust the focus so you can see these better. Hold on, I'll adjust. Adjust the focus. Right. There go. Head. Okay, bear with me for one minute. Here. There go. That's much better. So. All right, I'm gonna open up this bag so you can, maybe we can find his face. It looks like he's got a couple different weapons. He's not as big as some of the other things. He does look like a chaos guy. He's got a couple, like I said, a couple weapons. Are these, these are the same hand, so you get to pick which one. It doesn't look like he has extra arms. More carapace. Oh, there's his face. He's got a little face. There he is. Lord of Malice. This is one of the models. I think we're going to, we might give this one away for followers. That's, oh cool, I just noticed this. They did a little dice and there's a hand on it. How cool is that? That, you know what that means? That means they took some actual plastic die when they were um, casting it. That is totally cool. I've seen that before. The details of preach caster models are crazy cool, exactly. Yeah, there is a lot of cleanup on this, but he's pretty dang cool. Lord of Malice, you can look him up, look him up on creaturecaster.com. This is one of our sponsors and they are awesome because they provide us with these giveaways. And then you guys provide my channel with revenue which i use for my business now, this is a thank you for all of my followers okay so that's the first one I'll go ahead and put that one away i'll show you what else the lord of slaughter and which what's this one that's oh i know what that one is ha ha, ha. okay so this is the lord of slaughter this one, I think, is a bigger model, a little bit. This one's a little bit sharper. Oh yeah, there's a lot of parts to Lord of Slaughter. Oh, look at that base. That is so cool. So he's got a whole bunch of skulls. There's his torso. Let's find his face. Here's his face. Oh, he's got a choice. We get a choice of faces. Pretty nice. He's got a total hunchback. <laughs> That's funny. That looks like his legs. Yeah, I think that might be his No. No, that's his arms. These are his shoulders. And then he's got a bunch of wings. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I guess. Interesting. I don't know if he is. He's got two sets you get to pick from, or if it's. That's the nice thing about creature casters. You often get a multiple choice of weapons and things, and you can magnetize the weapons. And so this is a sword and this is some kind of bone scythe. 
Those are opposite weapons, and then he's got some horns, of course, because he's a demon. What do you think of these? Kind of like the Lord of Malice. Ugh, I'm just dipping it in my paint. Hold on. Dip the bag. Got it. Okay. Let's put all this back. Yeah, it is cool. So this might be like a future giveaway, is what I'm thinking. I'm going to put the small pieces in here. So when anytime, anytime I get these, I get I might get one to paint and then one to give away for followers and one to give away for subscribers. I like that one a lot. I might I might paint that one. We'll see. So that's the Lord of Slaughter, and I'll let you guys decide which one you want painted, which one you guys want give given away. Do you remember that um? What was the name of it? The, the Pincher Demon. That was a pretty cool one. All right, so this says Twin. Do you know what this one is? Thank you for following. Eshwan Crew, how are you? Thank you. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know exactly which one this is. You guys are going to love it. You've, if you've been watching Genuine Vision, you'll know which one this is. This is the twins. I think this is going to be a subscriber giveaway at some point. Some, actually, this might be the one I paint because you guys have been asking me to paint this. So the twins are this really creepy, cool looking model of these two characters. New mini, what this? Day Ray, this is the twins from Creature Caster. You, I know you've seen this. This is the one where they are like entwined and they're like almost like two serpents. There's like a thousand tiny little pieces. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. It's half built on your whip shelf? Yeah. Half built. Does that mean it's hard to build? <laughs> you love that many? I know. And it's so intricate look at this these are oh cool these are um different hand possibilities they're both the same hand the one is one has like a skull on top of a cloud and the other one has this kind of cool fillery i don't know what this is the antlers for him are in five pieces and i'm stumped by what to do you should you should message them and ask them because they will tell you they're really good. They're really good about getting to people. Uh, there's a lot of people. They do have, it does look like things are numbered. So if you didn't cut them off already, that might help. There are a lot of numbers. 31, 32. Look, I love it. I don't know why, but I love it when I get a little piece of the mold. I just, I don't know why, it's crazy, but I feel like I'm like part of the process when I get to see a little piece of the mold. You're gonna try again after school is done, that's good. Oh, look at the faces, ah! This is the, the guy's face, faces. He's got a beautiful face and a bestial face. And his beautiful face is gorgeous. Gosh, I love it. Wow, let's find her. She's got a, a small face as well, okay arms oh there she is i found her looks like she only has one possible face oh but she's beautiful look at that and then his arm is right around her head beautiful okay we're, we might have to have me paint this and then there's the torsos he is humongous next to her they both have a little booby, so we'd have to censor that out, but really cool. All right, so that's the third mini. Oh my gosh, so many parts. So many little tiny baby parts here that you can see. This is the this is the bottom half. They're entwined together like they're one, but they're supposed to be twins, but they're in like some kind of lover's embrace. They're really weird 
You're gonna try to, you should definitely paint the twins. I think so. I just, um, feature cast or model. You know what? I will paint them. I will. Tell you what. And then I'll put it up for sale or something. And if somebody wants, we can we can have people bid on it or whatever. So that way I can, I can sell it. All right, I'm gonna put this one back. That goes there and that, oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Yeah, that's gonna be a cool mini to paint. Very odd mini, but yes, very cool. Now, let's show you the paints. The paints are the ones that I'm gonna be able to give away. They are gonna be a subscriber only giveaway for the 16th of this month. I try to do my giveaways. I do a follower giveaway near the first and a subscriber giveaway near the 16th. And so if you subscribe, you get to decide kind of in advance because usually I show, show everybody what you could win through the giveaway. And I'm gonna show you the paints, which I'm really excited about. I didn't get them out yet. I've never tried them, so this is my first first um, impression. You guys get to see my first impression of these paints and these models, in fact, because these are the first time I'm seeing these models. I do like the twins. The twins and the Lord of Slaughter, I think, are my two favorites. All right, so this is the Expansion 3 of the um, Monument paints um let's see what we got we got turquoise okay oh we got ooh, beaut oh my god that pale green right now i love it black green another blue it's a blue black bright green and burnt sienna finally guys this is what i've been waiting for this burnt sienna hold on i want to show you something Ah, uh, that's what I've been using. This is P3 Bloodstone, and I've been wanting a Burnt Sienna. You can make Burnt Sienna currently with their Burnt Orange and just mix a little bit of um, mahogany into it. But if you don't want to have to mix it, look at that. It's the perfect triad for leather right there. Get, get some purples as well, maybe a little orange. Great. I love it. I'm so excited about that. Burn Sienna. I'm gonna have to reorganize my whole palette. Okay. This is bright pale green. I love it. Freaking gorgeous color. This one, I'm pretty sure that you cannot mix with any of their current colors, except you might be able to mix it with this and white and maybe a little bit of, I, that might make this, but I still think this won't be as bright. Or sorry, these won't be as bright. Pro Curl has kind of reached that stage where they really don't need to um, like everything you, you can you can mix is pretty much almost there. The only thing they really need is they need a better magenta. This is a pink, not magenta. They need a, more of a true magenta, and true magenta is very difficult. So it's so it's a true purple, but their purples are really good. All right, and there is a black green, which is different than their. Um, dark camo green dark camo green is a little bit more on the yellow side we'll, we'll test those and see what those are how those are different and then turquoise which i always had to mix before you can mix turquoise by just adding white to the jade and that's awesome th th those are in the same family pretty much i think all right, what's else? There's a few more colors. This might be the last of it. Yep, I think so. Oh, pastels. I love pastels because you always have to mix pastels. All right, pale yellow, which they really, really needed because their ivory 
is not a yellow. You can't even see those on stream, can you? Right. Here we go. If you kind of see it. See how that's yellow at the bottom? So pale yellow versus ivory. That is a pale yellow. Their other yellow is so hot that in order to, you know, I mean, even when you mix white with this, it's it's not going to be consistent as as having something in the bottle. All right, and then they have this pretty gray blue, which I would call that uh, sky blue. I wouldn't call that one gray blue, but I think they already have a sky blue. Yeah, they already have a sky blue. And so this one is lighter, not not by a lot, but it is a little bit lighter. Okay. And then they've got this purple. Oh, faded plum. That's gorgeous. I don't know if their normal purple mixes into that to be a, a purple. And then lastly, dark golden brown, which is awesome because sometimes you need an ochre color, but you don't want to have to mix it. So let's let's go ahead and swatch these and see what they look like. Try these out. Let's take the little ring off, put that back in here. You're seeing this first on the channel, by the way, and nobody else will see this. All right, so this is sort of like a poopy brown. Yeah, I think that is a like a like a dark ochre. It's gonna be good for your uh, hi, 14 pound. How are you? We're swatching colors from the new Pro Acryl Paints series, number three. So I'm gonna put just a little dot of that on the top. You can see that. I'm gonna have to use these on the new on the new models. There's the pale yellow. Oh, pretty. It's it's blitzing out a little bit. Let's see if I can put it on something dark. Do I have anything dark to put it on? Um, put it on the top of this bottle. If you can kind of see how it's, it's a pale yellow. So both of these two colors can be used in a non-metallic gold. I can see that. See that. This would be one of the oh, bleached. Oh no. See if I can take that off. How are you doing, 814 Punk? Oi, oi. I can take that off water. I'm a little bit, a little bit OCD with, uh, with other colors of paint on my, on my bottles. There, that's better, a little bit better. Do I have, do we have any music? Yeah, we got music. Okay, I'm gonna switch music so you guys get to hear the um, chill playlist here. Give me one second. Very soon, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new music for the music library. I've been, I bought six new songs. They're all EDM chill, which is awesome because I kinda need chill music right now. Go. You just got back from home from work. Oh, good. I'm curious about this color. Oh, that's really pretty. That is really, really, really pretty gray. Some of that on the tip of that. It is a it is a blue gray. Um, and you can use this as a liner. I think if you just add a little bit more black to it, you can use it as a as a blue black liner. All right, this is the black green, which we could probably have used on that elf we just got done. All right, black green. Eh, it is slightly, here's the black green, and then here is the dark camo.
So you can see the difference. There is a difference. But like I said, you could probably mix some of the transparent into your dark, dark camera to get a similar color. This one, this one isn't a necessity, I wouldn't say. Um, the necessities in this group are absolutely this uh, dark golden brown, the light yellow, um, this burnt sienna. Definitely, those three are necessities. You got to have those in your palette, so you don't have to be mixing those all the time. I think these. Um, the turquoise is also another one you don't want to have to mix all the time. Some of these, although you can, you won't need that much, but they are really, really nice to have. And if you're a paint collector like I am, oh, that is lovely. Look at that beautiful blue. That is a robin's egg blue. They need to change the name. Oh, it's, it's like a turquoise. That's why. Okay. That is very pretty. We'll have to, I'm going to start using that on the crystals on the, on the bus that I'm working on right now. Okay, here is, whoa, that is very, very intense. You guys see that? It's, it's so, it's, this is a really great color to use for highlighting. I'm really impressed that they're getting into these pastels. Pastels are, are a pain to mix, right? This one is the gray blue. This is, oh, it's so pretty. This is a, this is a robin's egg blue, very much. Let me know if this is boring you. I don't know about you, but I geek out over paints, but let me know if you are not enthralled. I think we got everything except for the Sienna, which I'm hoping is a match for the P3 Bloodstone, as that is one color that I've been needing. One other thing I've been really impressed with Creature Caster is every time I've suggested a paint, they've made it. Thank you for following Red Wolf 36326. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful color. Following. Let's let's swatch that. That is absolutely the perfect base for leather. And then this is P3. Let's see if the colors in match. You're not happy about the new colors. You're already running out of room in your monument go bag. Yes. Okay, let's see. All right, there is a difference. It's a slight difference. So first of all, this one is a little bit less saturated. It's a little bit more on the orange side. And this one is a little bit more pigment. But I love, love it. I will use the heck out of it. Burnt Sienna is a beautiful color. I use it a lot in my painting, and I'll be using this one a lot as well. I'm super happy. I bought another rack to put all these new paints on Lamunas because I know they're going to be making more paints. I know that. That's just what the way it is. I'm getting used to it. Let's take a minute and take a stretch break because my back is kind of feeling crimped despite not even leaning over. Oh, crackle, crackle, crackle. Did you hear it? Oh, that feels so nice. Everybody stretch. And then also make sure you hydrate. check my social media today I posted the Libra from Kingdom Death and you guys were were um, able to watch me paint that so I've already got people asking me how I did those medals and so you already know and that's pretty fun hmm also you want to follow Kingdom Death on Instagram because I am going to be doing a artist sh they're showcasing me in the near future I'm gonna be in a showcase for them I don't know what that means. They're going to show off a few models that I've done and they're going to have that on there. So follow Kingdom Death, Kingdom underscore Death at Instagram. Hmm, really excited. When those 
dry? Do they get hard or do they have some flexibility? The paints, I think they, they dry hard because they're flat. They don't, like the, the satin paints have more flexibility. I think these are flat paints, so I'm not sure. I'm not really, I haven't really tested that out. So I, I guess I would say, I don't know. Hmm. Recycle those bottles. My back is still a bit cramped. Okay. I want to do some more painting. I want to use some of these new paints. Let's look and see what is next on the on the list here. Oh, kind of like the Reapers. Yeah, definitely. 814 Punk, just like that. But Reaper paint, Reaper paint is made with a base of um, Sherwin-Williams house paint, so it's ultra dur durable. I don't know what they make this out of, so I don't know. I don't think it has the same durability as the latex, but I could be wrong. I can recycle this too. All right, so like come back on the 16th, I'm gonna be giving away a set of these. I think there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 paints. There's 10 paints here, so that's a nice giveaway. And I believe they retail for do something a bottle, but don't forget, like if you're pricing out paints, these are 22 milliliter bottles, and that is a great price. You won't find that much paint for this price point for, from anywhere. Like at this quality, I don't think anywhere has this quantity of paint for this quality. Maybe Chimera, but Chimera is really not for gaming, not for gaming models. Hi, you'll never know. You've been looking all. Thank you for saying hi. All right, let's find, we, we've got the elf painted. It's now time. Here's the elf. Got him all ready. He looks cute. He's ready to go. I'm going to, since I have more people on, this is the um, wizard, I think. I think I need to work on the, this is the priest. He doesn't look like a priest. Uh, the assassin, he looks good. I've worked on him. He's he's cute. He's so simple. He's just all blacks and grays. The merchant, merchant, look at my fingers. They're covered in schmutz. Merchant and the thief. Okay. A little on the shiny side. Then I've got the dwarf. I did that last night. I need to paint his eyes. Let's do that right now. Before I forget, he looks weird. Go ahead and paint in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and paint the whole eye socket. And then you can go in with the flesh and kind of round it to make it smaller. already been better. I should give you this extra copy of Madara. What's Madara? You're going to have to send me a link. <laughs> this is the troll. I'm actually pretty happy with the troll. Narrative RPG? Oh, that sounds fun. By the way, I, I wanted to mention that I got Talisman on Steam. So if you are interested in playing a game of Talisman with me while we are being quarantined and have you have extra time, let me know and uh, get yourself a copy so we can play. And uh, yeah, let me know. All right, I think, what's next? We've got the warrior. He's looking rough. There he is far away from looking like a warrior. I think there's the dwarf. He actually didn't turn out too bad. I can probably detail him out more later. 
The minstrel. Ugh. Minstrel? Eee. Yikes. I'm scared. There's there's the priest. Not a lot I can do about that. I could go back in and put that gray on there. There's the thief. He's already got a talisman. There's the troll. I took some liberties with the troll for sure. But not too bad. Prophetess, that's it. There's the monk. Okay, we're gonna do the monk because the monk is looking awful. This is the monk. And again, remember that I painted these ages ago. We need to work on him. Let's start start with his face because it's it's gonna need the most work. Um, I'm gonna go in here with the ivory and this white so that we can start highlighting. He's got a decent base, base coat already. Yeah, that's already looking pretty good. There's something, whatever I sprayed as a primer on this, kind of messed it up. I'm going to get in here with his eyes. The most I'm going to do on the eyes is just a little line and a little black dot. Because at this level and this particular... There we go. That's better already. I'm going to give him brown hair. I'm going to start with the black though. And then layer it with the brown. That way there's like a, an automatic little drop shadow underneath his hair already. Okay. I gotta let that dry. Meanwhile, I can go in here and get into all the crevices. And he's got a little book under his under his arm. Oh good. Succubuspublishing.com, the Dara board game. Let me check it out. Oh cool. Cooperative. Oh, I love cooperative games. That's cool. I'll have to check that out later. Gallery. Is it a miniature game or is it just a board game? Oh, it does have miniatures. Nice. Very cool. Thank you for showing that. go it is a huge box <laughs> you think that you're not gonna end up playing it is that why it's intimidating it's big he's got a little talisman on the end of his rosary Yay. and chipped paint Bye-bye, Pandateka. You have a good one. You're leaving for today. All right, I don't know if I'll have any before or afters, but I'll definitely have some afters. So all the dark lighting is going to make a big difference on this mini. We talked about dark lining and how much it makes a mini pop, especially when it's this small. And you can just see right now, I'm kind of going in like a coloring book and outlining everything, separating the different parts of the mini out. And how that's already 
making an effect. You ordered two from the Kickstarter thinking one of your friends would want it. Oh, that's cool. Well, let me know. Really cool. Because not only did you support the Kickstarter, but you thought of your friends. Really nice of you. Some of these spots, I'm just, like I said, I'm just painting the dark lines in already. And then I can go back and separate things out more later. That makes sense. I'm gonna, gonna refine. That's what I meant. I'll refine in a minute. All right, I am at the stage now where I think I can go ahead and start taking out the browns. Let's use this new brown, this dark golden brown. That'd be nice. Yay, our staff, thank you for the, for the subscription. Four months in a row. There we go. Have you been using your, um, oops, I spelled that wrong. Aris E. E F. There we go. Not an H. Have you been using your uh, last month? I think uh, our staff won a hobby holder. So I wondered if he was. Oh yeah, that's the that's a good color right there. That this is the dark golden brown, one of the new colors. I'm just gonna base coat his robes. And see where the dark shadow is? Ooh, don't be dropping in. See where that dark line is? I can go back under that and I can refine and cause that to be even more thin, slender, thin. There we go. Right word. I definitely think a wash may not look so great on these minis because it dries too shiny. Yeah, hype. Do I have a coupon code? I don't, Jamie G. They don't have those. They don't, they're not doing those. Um, I, I'm just happy to hype them because like I said, they do sponsor me. They send me the price support for the channel and paints and things like that for the for me to use on the channel. And so that's all I got so far. But maybe eventually one day they'll they'll do affiliate codes. It's a lot. It's a lot to set up. I think that might be the big reason why. You can always just buy from them and tell them show she sent you. That always gets you know, people's attention. They say, show she sent me in the little notes. They have a little notes. I'm gonna just wet blend this in a little bit. This is some shadow. Go. I'm glad that Mike is, Mike is having his meeting upstairs because I can hear him through the floor. He's so loud. The other day when he would stream while I was in the same room, it was too hard to stream his, his work meetings. All right, there we go. But he's so much better looking. Paint the base black. That will also make a big difference. Even just repainting the base is making a big difference.
Okay. Dora says, I tried putting some AK Ultra Matte Varnish and a little Flow Improver in the washes. Works pretty good. Do I have some of that stuff too, that Ultra Matte Varnish. I'm going to have to try that. And Jamie G's going to bite the bullet and buy at least the first base set. Is that of the paints? Yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, I really like their paint sets a lot. They're my primary paint set right now. I'm just getting a few little highlights here on this little chubber's face. And then we're going to get a little bit of that color up there on his head and his pate. This part's a little trickier. bright highlight on these fingers. I'm just trying to get each finger rather than all right so now I'm gonna mix a little bit of ochre with a little bit of this golden yellow and a little bit of ivory also well maybe not ivory. I'll just mix that with a little bit of that brown again and then we're gonna hit these highlights and notice that's a high contrast so we might knock it down just a little bit need to So the high contrast is using a, a darker color as a base and then a brighter color. And look at the contrast. You can go, it's a very fast jump. Because it's a small mini, you can make that jump pretty easily and still have it look pretty good. See? Looks natural. Now all I'm doing is hitting these brighter highlight stairs. Too much yellow. Part of what's helping me is also my glasses are off. So I can kind of blend back and forth a little bit easier because the, the glasses help me see what it's going to look like. For the back outfit. Just hit those highlights first. We'll just go right on them. The speed painting. Now, go back in there with the brown, and then you can kind of blend that into itself. Not bad. I'm just blending that brown back over that color again. Yeah. 
for effect. There's some gray and some white. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of edge highlight this with and dry brush it. It's just a little stone step that he's got. I'm just going to dry brush that a little bit with that white. And then we'll get his little toes and his book and his, his backpack. Hi, Mark Goodwin. You didn't get a no notification. You've how, uh, how much have you missed? You've missed about two hours of, of a program. The thing is, is that Twitch doesn't notify everybody. So I always tell people it's like, just set an alarm because they don't tell everybody every single time. I don't know why, especially for a subscriber only stream. You'd think they only have to notify my subscribers. Why can't they do that? You can just do that. All right, so talisman is gold. We're gonna go in here with the black first and paint this whole thing black. And then we're gonna pick out the details with the gold so that we've got the nice, strong shadows already in there. Same thing with this book, just cover that whole book. Mm, everything up here is good. I'm gonna make his hair brown now. See how I just leave some of that black on the edges. And that way it makes that brown pop out a little bit more. Watch what happens when we take that lighter brown that's close to his outfit. Good. He's almost done. Now we just need, let's use that sienna on his book and on his roll. He's got like a bed roll. And then lastly, we will do the, um, whatchamacallit, we'll do the, we can also repaint this rope a little better. Mark Goodwin says, looks like me from the top. Oh yeah, does it? <laughs> Funny. See how that pops because of that, that little contrast? Okay, now the Sienna. Little book. And then back here on his bedroll, it can also be Anna. Some of this is already painted back here, so it's kind of nice because I, I just have to touch it up. And then we'll go ahead and do the stick. Why not? There's sort of a rule of three use with small minis is that you want to have the same color kind of show up three times and it, it adds cohesion to the mini. And you know, it's that limited palette that makes it look like it's all pulled together, which is what cohesion means. Okay, see how that already looks good because you've got the three. And we've got our ivory back here. because There are a few little straps and ropes. I'm gonna make this little, he's got a little baby ax handle back here. All right, last thing is the gold. There we go, rich gold from Procrell.
and the talisman there we go we're just gonna detail this out super super happy with that I don't know if we showed we didn't show a big did we show the before it looked terrible get the base nice and good oh, I got a little bit too much of the base painted I'm gonna lay him down Lando, hello, Talisman. That's a game I've not played in a long, long time. I know. We just started playing it with the quarantine. We started, uh, I got Mike to play. I have the second ed version, and um, I don't know what edition this is. I think it's, hold on. It's fourth edition. This is fourth edition. Talisman, and it's so much fun. I like this, this version because it has the minis. But so, because the uh, the older editions just have little little chit cards. You have a... Lando, we should play. I just got it. Send me your friend code if you want to play. I'm looking for people to, to play Talisman with. So if you guys are interested and have Steam and have game, let me know. I'm, I'm serious. I'm interested in playing with some people. <laughs> that would be really cool. All right, so let's see. Let's see if this is drying well enough. Let's look at this guy. There he is. There's our monk. And he is finally has, you know, been been given justice. So much better. Hi, Rub Jedi. You think you have it on Steam too? Message me. We'll play. That would be awesome. I'm 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 down. I'm been I don't really have um like I said I just bought the ver I bought like a bundle version. It has a couple expansions and um and the regular version and yeah, the regular version. Anyway, let's look for somebody to host cuz I think I'm about done for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Do not forget tomorrow is giveaway. We're going to be giving away probably one of these models, either the Lord of Malice or the Lord of Slaughter from Creature Caster. And we're going to be doing Whip Friday. So bring all your pictures. Take lots of pictures today so that you've got something to bring. You got it with the HH, a humble bone. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. I have to look for more expansions. I'm one of those people I need to have all. All right, I'm going to find somebody great to raid. Let's see who is on. The Melindy is playing Elder Scrolls. Chris Frozen is playing. Tea. Let's let's raid Chris Frozen. He is pretty cool. All right, guys. So I will be back on tomorrow. Back tomorrow. Easy. There we go. Go ahead and punch that raid button if you haven't already. There we go. And I will see you. There we go. We're going to raid him now. Bye, guys. You have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow.